Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Um, I'm doing a completely new uh, format, so these are going to be general intuitive messages, but your feelings and intentions versus theirs. I'll do a section for singles and then what you need to focus on and what you need to cut out. So let me know in the comments if you enjoy this format, but just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. Um, Capricorn, bring this person's energy into yours. Think of their face. Think of the last time you interacted with them. And let's see, how does Capricorn feel about this person? Spirit. Okay, we did get judgment, the king of swords. The Ace of Wands. There's something here, Capricorn. It's like sometimes you feel like you have to be kind of firm with this person with the King of Swords. The Devil. Maybe this person has some toxic habits. Um, but there's the Judgment card is here. This is like this isn't something that you're trying to give up on. There could be a very strong physical attraction here with the Ace of Wands, um, but you feel like you kind of have to like let this person know. Tell me more about the King of Swords. Maybe it's something to do with money or work or just like things they need to work on. I feel like there's things about them that maybe they're not even aware of um, that you sort of bring to light and you're kind of, you're pretty straightforward with this person. Like you don't beat around the bush. Um, you kind of feel like you, you have to. Tell me about the devil. The King of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Six of Wands. You might feel like this person does things like that are ego-based. Like they do things to get your attention or even to like other people's attention. And you feel like you kind of have to like stick it to them sometimes. Like you're like, okay. like, And they might even do something and then apologize. And then um, it feels like it's really good. You Like it feels like everything's okay. And then there's like another thing that they you kind of have to tell them about. Like, it's not like you have like a laundry list of things about this person, but it, it, it really just truly feels like it's things that they're not aware of. I feel like this person has, I gotta be honest with you, gotten by um, from like with their charm, maybe even their looks before, their sort of like innocence that they have. Um, and while you can appreciate those things about them, you're also like, I'm not gonna let you just get away with whatever. Um, tell me about judgment. The Seven of Wands, I feel like this one wants to come out. The Knight of Wands. I don't know, Capricorn. Like, it's almost like you feel like if you have to keep telling this person over and over again what to do, it's sort of tiring here. Like, is it gonna continue to be hot and cold with this person? You kind of feel like they they do try, and then like I said, they apologize, but then it's like another thing comes up. It's like you're constantly having to have conversations with this person about what's okay, what's not okay. Wheel of Fortune. Um, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Temperance. It, it feels like you're you're kind of, you're always holding out hope for this person, right? This doesn't have to be romantic, right? Just because the Ace of Wands is here. This could just be someone you get really excited to spend time with, but it just feels like you're very patient with this person. Um, in a lot of ways, they're patient too, but you're, you, the way you feel is like you kind of have to be talking to this person all the time. Like, do you not realize you do this? Do you not realize that when you say that, it sounds like this? And they're like, no, I didn't really, like, I didn't really. Anything else about the King of Swords? The Five of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. There's a part of you that's like, should I just leave this alone? Should I just stop? Should I just like not even give this a chance here? Versus, okay, you know what? I'm not going to give up on this person. I'm going to keep trying here. Give it time.
whoever this is, Capricorn, like th this isn't someone you easily want to give up on. Now, the reason why is going to be different for all of you. Maybe it's family. Maybe it's someone you have a long history with. Again, could be a partner. There's lots of earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's some fire too. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it doesn't have to be. Okay, so like, what are your intentions then with this person, Capricorn? What is Capricorn's intentions with this person? The Knight of Cups. The King. You like you want to show this person that you care about them, but it's almost like you feel like you have to kind of like I don't know what that is. You have to like stick it to them sometimes. Like you just have to like let this person know, like like stop that, stop saying that, or stop doing that. Um, there's just things they do that kind of like irritate you, that kind of annoy you. I guess you could say six of cups. You like. There's something here, Capricorn. I don't know who this is, but like there you want to fix it. You're like you're hoping that it'll get better with this person. You do want to try. Maybe you're just like your defenses are just up, maybe just because of what this person has done or maybe what the the past has done to you and you feel like you kind of have to be in this King of Swords energy. It's almost like you keep a lot to yourself too, like Say you call this person out for something, you're like, there's 10 more things I could have called them out for, but I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, tell them all about themselves all day. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do. I feel like you're very patient with their shortcomings, I guess you could say, the high priestess. There's something intuitively telling you, like, th like this will be a missed opportunity if you just give up on it. So you're like, okay, I'm just going to keep trying. That's Pisces. Lots of Pisces energy there. Yeah, your intuition is telling you something about this person. So let's see their feelings and intentions then. What is this person's feelings towards Capricorn? <laughs> Judgment. So you both want the same thing. You both want a chance with each other. You're both, if it's relevant, very attracted to each other. Both very excited to be with one another. Literally the exact two cards that came out for you. Look at, oh my gosh. Knight of who is this Capricorn? Because this is now their feelings. It's the exact same cards. Like, I don't know if this person feels like your mirror, like you're like the like you two mirror each other. Very similar energies. That's that can be why someone can irritate us so much because they're so much like us. Um this person cares for you. This person also feels like there's things about you that they're like, okay, well, I'm gonna tell you too, Capricorn. Like, I don't necessarily like this or like that about you. Um but I'm also getting with that, I feel like this, and and you too, I feel like you might, tr like I said, try to like distance yourself from those things that are irritable. You're like, I'm not trying to sit here and be irritated all the time with this person. This person kind of sees you as, as kind of like detached sometimes, like you're hard to read. The moon, you can't make this up, Capricorn. It's literally the same cards you were getting like this person feels the exact same way about you that you feel about them we got the three of cups i don't know if this is a friend or not um but they do enjoy their time with you i'm getting with that three of cups the eight of cups the eight of wands this person is quick to shut down this person is quick to um give up and that might be what really frustrates you about this person, Capricorn, is that you're like, you do things that irritate me. Yeah, I do things that irritate you, of course, but like, I'm not giving up here. I'm trying here. I feel like this person says things they don't mean with the Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands. I feel like they, tell me about that, Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands. You're getting Eight, Eight here. The Two of Wands, the King of Cups, <laughs> the lovers wanted to come out too. At the end of the day, like this person sees themselves loving you, like as a friend, as a family member, as a lover, it doesn't matter. But I feel like in the moment when they get really overwhelmed, especially when your King of Swords energy comes out, Capricorn, they just shut down. This person might be very organized. My cards don't always end up in such a like nice sort of formation. And so this person might be very particular about things. Um, but at the end of the day, like they care about you. At the end of the day, they're like, all I want is to just love Capricorn and have their love too but I, I feel like they almost get like overwhelmed here and shut down we have Pisces energy here 
So let's see their intentions towards you. What is this person's intentions towards Capricorn, please? What is this person's intentions? So you guys got the same thing. Seven of Wands, Judgment, the Two of Cups. This person wants you. Their intention here is to honestly not really say... They don't want to fight with you is what I'm getting with that one, Capricorn. They're like, okay, you know what, Capricorn? You can say all the things you need to say about me. Tell me all the things I'm doing wrong. I'm not going to say anything back. This person wants you. This person feels like you're a soulmate. This person wants a chance with you. Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person just wants to make you happy. You're a dream come true to this person, Capricorn. So even though you feel like you have to put this person in their place a little bit here, they're also... They almost like appreciate you for that. Maybe this you're the first person to do that for them, to really like just give it to them straight. Um, when they see a future, they see you in it. You're now you're getting two two. So when my cards sync up at Capricorn, it's Spirit's way of telling me this is a significant relationship in your life. Um, I mean, we could argue that they're all significant, but it's one of those ones like look at that ten of cups. It doesn't. Um, you're not the same after this connection, no matter how long it lasts. But this person wants it to last. Look at two of cups, nine of cups, ten of cups. This is their intentions. They want to be in a good place with you here. They're proud to be with you. They don't They don't realize sometimes that they do stupid things is what I'm getting. Like it's, it does feel really innocent, Capricorn. I don't feel like this person does things maliciously. I don't feel like they're like, let me get back at Capricorn. I feel like they just do dumb things that irritate you that you don't like. Um, and you call them out for it and they're like, I didn't even realize that was that bad or, and they're genuine when they mean that they really just want to be in a good place with you here. Their intention is to make you happy because you make them happy. They want a chance here with you. They are not trying to irritate you. It's like they know they're irritating, but they're not trying to look at that 10 of pentacles on the bottom and the devil right behind that. Yeah. It's like this person doesn't realize they could have been doing things for a really long. Maybe this person makes like really crude jokes and you're like, that's not funny. And they're like, I didn't realize it wasn't that funny. you know, my friends used to laugh at that or my family laughs at that, or I didn't realize it was that bad. And you're, you're kind of like, that's that King of Swords energy coming. Like, no, like you need to see it this way or something like that. Um, but this person's intentions look good. Like it looks like they really mean what they say like they they do care about you here let's see if we can get anything here look at love call expressing love messages of love thinking of you informing you you got two of cups nine of cups ten of cups for this person's intentions this person just wants you capricorn the dragonfly lighthearted and adapt finding out and change things coming to light and heal this lighthearted is really standing out to me i feel like this person does or says things that to them is really lighthearted. And you might feel like that's not a joke or like that's not, it's deeper for you, but this person doesn't realize that it's deeper, right? But look, finding out and change, things coming to light and heal. Like you're bringing this person's shadow side or like some of those weird things that they do to the light. Look, grounding, stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. Like this people, this, this people, this person does want to grow with you. Look, coffee cup, meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship. Like this person sees it as you're overcoming obstacles, right? Um, we did get the snake, competition and enemy, the other woman, look over your shoulder. I'm going to pull on that and try and see what that is. Um, but they do want, they want you. Their intentions look good. And then seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up and date, third party temptation. So what is that? Because that just came out of left field. What is the snake and seduction? The ten of swords, the king of swords. This could have been something that already ended. I don't know if it's on your end or their end, but it just popped through. Everyone who follows my channel knows that these energies like to just pop in. Um, you know what this feels like? Thank you, spirit. Thank, thank you. One or both of you could have been in a situation where someone was pretty snaky. Someone was, you know, deceptive here. Um, there could have been a third party and whoever, like maybe it's both of you, both of you were in situations where you had to develop this King of Swords energy. Like, this is how it's going to go. This is what's right. This is what's wrong. And you're sort of carrying over that mentality into this connection, 
right? Not that you shouldn't, but I feel like there's betrayal on one or both of your ends. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's both because it feels like you two mirror each other. I don't think I've ever had a reading like that where the exact same cards come out for how they feel. Um, you both had similar experiences, it feels like. And so maybe you're both used to dealing with things with this King of Swords energy um, because of what you've been through here. It feels like it's something that's already ended. Some, uh, some sort of betrayal here, Ten of Swords. So perhaps you notice like the way you talk to this person when they do something, you're like, oh, I used to talk to my ex like that. Or like when my best friend, my ex best friend used to da 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 da, like I would get really upset with them like that. Like they're like try to make the connection here. And if it's not um, connecting, then don't take it. But that's what it feels like. It feels like something that already ended really did a number on you both. And that's why this... Um, sort of like cold, maybe more detached energy comes through. I feel like that's why this person shuts down too. Okay. I hope that resonated. Let me know in the comments, Capricorn. But let's see um, for singles. Singles. So single Capricorns with absolutely no options, no prospects. Let's see who's coming in and then we'll try to get a timeline. So who's coming in for my single Capricorns? Page of Swords. Could be someone younger than you. Doesn't have to be. The Ace of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. The Devil. This is going to be someone who kind of tries to like rush into things. Capricorn is what I'm getting. Could be another Capricorn or a Taurus or a Virgo. Look at you're jumping from the Ace to the Ten of Pentacles. It's like... This person might give you a lot right away, maybe even gifts or like help you a lot in the beginning. Um, I feel like they spy on you as well with a page of swords. I Why is the devil here? It feels like this person thinks that like gift giving specifically is like, I mean, this could be their love language for sure. Um, we got the empress. We got the hermit. Um, but it feels like this might be the type of person who's like, well, I did all these things for you. Like, how can you be upset with me? And you're like, well, because you, you did, did or said these things that upset me. And they're like, but I did all these things for you. Like, I don't understand. You're like, like they have a hard time tapping into those emotions, right? Or like having deeper conversations is what I'm getting. Tell me more about the devil. Hmm. Could be a Leo or Sagittarius, Taurus or Libra, Virgo. What is that? I don't understand what this is, Spirit. Please tell me. Help me understand. There's something there. Okay, whoever's coming in here, Capricorn, they're very, they're very, they're very closed off about certain things. Maybe about their past, their past relationships. Maybe even a relationship with their mother or a strong feminine energy in their life. It's like they keep a lot to themselves. Whenever I get the devil and the temperance card, it feels like the little devil and the little angel on the shoulder. It's like sometimes you see a side of this person where you're like, oh my gosh, like they're so patient. They're so kind. They help so much. Like I couldn't ask for a better support. Um, and then there's this other side to them where they're kind of, they like to be in control. They're very defensive. They don't like to share too much. Like it's like, that's their way of maintaining control here. They're kind of like, I don't know. This is, you'll see two sides to this person. You're like, yesterday you were so nice to me. Like, what's up with you today? Like, that's how it's going to feel with this person. Anything else about that devil card? I feel like there's something else that wants to come through. Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. This person won't leave you alone. Capricorn, they're not going to leave you alone. They're going to keep coming back around. And as many times as you answer the phone, they're, they're going to keep knocking is what I'm getting with this person so ugh, is there a time for when this person's coming in maybe you already know who this is capricorn maybe not is there a timeline i got wait i'm gonna pull their intentions too this is the bottom within the next few months okay 
Um, let's see that person's, what is this, this person for single Capricorn, like, what, what are their intentions? Like, what do they even want with Capricorn? What is the point of all this? What is their intentions? The lovers, oof. They want you. They want you to choose them. Because they're kind of, like, obsessed with you a little bit here. But look at it. It's like they want you just to say that they got you or that they were friends with you. It's it, just to just to end it or just to be emotionally like unavailable here to to juggle even this person keeps a lot to themselves like it's like they just want to know that they could come back to you whenever they wanted to come back to you tell me what the lovers they just want to know that like if they called look at the empress again if they called you would be there the moon the knight of cups the seven of swords oops I feel like this is another energy that they're also dealing with. I got to be honest with you. I feel like they just, they want to know that you're going to be around. They feel something towards you. But it's almost like an ego boost. Capricorn, you bring a lot to the table. You bring a lot. So this, knowing, this person knowing that they can text or call or show up whenever they feel like it and you answer is like, they feel amazing. It's an ego boost for them. Meanwhile, I feel like they still have something else going on here. It's almost like they, I hate to say this, it's almost like they want you to feel, this person knows how special you are, Capricorn, but like they don't want to tell you that. Anything else about the lovers? We have Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Libra energy, Pisces. What about the lovers? Nine of Wands, very guarded, Eight of Pentacles. A high priest this person is quiet like it's hard to tell even what the hell their plan is right now like i don't understand their intentions because they're so guarded they keep a lot to themselves it's like they just they just like your energy they want you oh my gosh i heard it i heard it and i hate to say it but it's like i want you on my roster like i don't understand this person just likes to know that, that that you're available. Look at cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. This person might go silent on you like purposely. Engagement ring, higher commitment, eternity, partnership, union, completion. I feel like they already have something going on here. Look at karmic, resentments and triggers, perception, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. I don't know if they're in a karmic or this is a karmic for you. Capricorn but it just feels like this person is kind of obsessed with you a little bit tell me specifically about the lovers look at watching looking perception stalking charmed or used enable boundaries girl with a snake and clock needing time cycles and takes time time to heal progressing I just feel like you might feel tricked by this person you might feel like used by them If you could see my face right now, Capricorn, like I just kind of feel like, ugh, like it's giving me like the ick, this person's energy. So just be aware of that. Okay. Okay, let's move on to what you need to focus on and what you need to cut out, Capricorn. Let's see. What does Capricorn need to focus on, please, Spirit? What do they need to focus on? Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Be, take things slow. I don't know if it's with that first person, you versus them, versus or the single person, or just in general, Capricorn. I feel like you need to ask a lot of questions. I feel like you need to gather a lot of information. Um, if there's some sort of offer, even like a work offer coming in, Capricorn, like some sort of contract to sign or something like that, take your time with it. Yeah, think about things. Four of Swords, the Queen of Wands. If something knocks your confidence, whether it's a person or a situation, something makes you feel the opposite of this, the opposite of confident, like you you know your, your power, you know your strength, you know what you bring to the table, then just think about it. Think about what that could grow into. Yeah, the Empress. You need to focus on your power here because I feel like, especially with the singles reading I just did, it feels like someone's trying to knock you off 
your power or like take your power away or make you feel like you're not that great when indeed you actually are a Capricorn. Like you are, you have everything and more to offer. Just because the Empress is coming out doesn't mean you have to be a female. It's about the energy. So you need to focus on what you bring to the table and being open to receive. Tell me more about the Empress. Yeah, there might be some sort of offer coming in here. I feel like it could be a work thing. Remember, you're deserving of this. But don't let anyone make you feel like you're not worthy because you are. Yeah, the hermit. Just take your time to think about things. You've learned a lot, Capricorn. You have a lot of skills, a lot of you're you're very self-reflective. You know, you're you're very wise. Use that wisdom. Don't forget what you've learned along the way. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Libra, or a Virgo. Okay, let's see what you need to cut out. What does Capricorn need to cut out, please, Spirit? What does Capricorn need to cut out? The Hanged Man? Could be a Pisces. Anything that makes you feel stuck, anything that makes you feel like you're not good enough makes you question yourself. It's kind of like the same thing. You need to cut out. It could be a, it could be a King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, the Six of Pentacles. Could be a situation you like overgive to, Capricorn. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. It feels like a repeated cycle here. It feels like self-sabotage or like tit-for-tat energy and then starting over and maybe it's from the singles reading here. I don't want to connect them in case they're not connected and maybe you didn't watch the singles reading, but it feels like in general, Capricorn, you need to cut out giving so much to things right away. Like it feels like you need to take your time. You need to like think about things first. And you need to speak up about your emotions. If something makes you feel uncomfortable or you don't like something, yeah, look. I don't know if there's someone or a situation that's like there's constant fighting, there's constant like disagreements, constant tension, drama, but you're kind of like holding out hope for it. What is it? What is this? What is the five of wands? Queen of wands. A page of wands someone who's really interested in you seven of wands someone who's very defensive i don't want to connect the categories in case they're not connected right and, it, and maybe this is the only section that you're watching but it just feels like someone who's kind of they kind of get mad really easily they're defensive could, could it be a family member someone you've been around for a long time <laughs> king of wands wants to come out queen of, it feels like you have to like Stick it to this person. Could be an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Pisces. Okay. Let's see. What's your Oracle? What is the Oracle for? We got exchanging gifts and unfinished symphony. Okay. Let's see. 27 and 10. You're entering into a productive and enriching time when all manner of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them. Yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time, exchange your experience and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life. So again, making sure that what you're giving, you're getting in return here, Capricorn. Now let's go to Unfinished Symphony. This is a time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project and a mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. 
reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. As soon as I read that, and again, maybe you didn't watch the You Versus Them, but in the You Versus Them reading, it feels like there's a betrayal, a Ten of Swords energy that's still lingering. And so that could be what this is talking about. Um, that's what came to mind. I kept seeing the Ten of Swords in my mind. So don't take it if it doesn't resonate. But Capricorn, I really hope something resonated. Let me know in the comments down below if it did. Um, let me know about what you think of the new format. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Um, thank you so, so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.